Hey Crafty Scholars, welcome to the channel. My name is Alicia. I'm the Soul Crafty Teacher. Today I am going to show you how to cut out your applique on a brother skin and cut. I do have the older version, but it works the same exact way. Also, I'm going to show you um, how I do it the traditional way. So first I'm going to get all of my shirts um, that I need to embroider hooks. Okay, so I'm going to get these two shirts hooped. I used the 8x9 Mighty Hoop. And I also use AJ Blanks. If you're interested in any AJ Blanks, um, there's a link down below. So, both of my shirts. One is the long sleeve and one is um, short sleeve. So, I'm getting ready to hoop those two. I keep all my Mighty Hoops in a bag. Just to have them separate because they do stick to everything like this. Um, but they work so well. So I do float my stabilizer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hoop this shirt. If you're new to embroidery, like I said, this is that 8x9 Mighty Hoop. Again, MightyHoop.com. I also have a link below to that. So I'm just going to take this hoop, slide it in here. Make sure everything is lined up. Make sure my two dots are right here and here's the center. Alright. I'm going to take the top of the hoop. Now I do like mine up here because I want the design to be as close up here because for this age, a two year old shirt, um, 2T, 3T, really for children's shirt, you're only one and one inch. Um, no more than one and a half inch from the collar. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I always pull side, make sure it is tight. Make sure it has that bounce effect, like you're touching the drum, top of a drum. And so it has that bounce effect, so it's ready for me to put on the machine. So take it and just slide it in there. grab my 10 by 12 my 10 by 12 cutaway medium cutaway stabilizer slide it in between the arm the shirt make sure nothing is caught and now it's time for my second one this is going to be a mermaid shirt it's number six i get it from hobby lobby short sleeve I do the same way I do my long sleeve. I'm gonna pull the back of this hoop off. And you can slide it in. And I do this to all of my shirts. Um, all of my children's shirts. Just make sure it's centered. If you are worried about this being centered, you can always take your shirt um, and fold it in half and iron it, or you can put it on a heat press. All right, so it is ready. Just gonna put it on there. All right, tugging at it, just making sure. I don't like my sleeves caught in there. And I like it all the way to the top. Like I said, that bounce effect, I still feel like it's a little loose, so tighten it. And then, it's like drum, you hear it? Okay, so now I'm going to take this and then I'm going to I'm going to put this on the shirt. So the first thing you're gonna put your jump drive in. I have all my colors, I'm just using red and black. I am looking for the design. So, looking for a design. I found my design, Lucy. I'm going to hit set. So, when I am in edit, this is how I make sure I get the right cut. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to find all the, I'm going to go to all the ones that have the placement stitch. 
Let me go ahead and put all these stops first. All my stops first. And now I'm going to go back up. Okay, so my placement stitch. So I have my placement stitch. This is where I'm going to have my fabric. So, so now I have, I'm at my placement stitch. In order for me to save this placement stitch or this file, um, so that I can cut my brother's candy cut, I'm going to go in first, press the scissors, and that's going to make that a cut file. And then I'm going to go in and find my other. And that's vinyl, so I'm not going to use. So I'm going to go, this is my. So here's my placement stitch. So I am going to hit the scissors. Close, get it in. And then I'm going to save this to memory. I'm going to save it here. So again, go through this again. As soon as I hit the scissors, it turns into, it says applique material. And when I put in my brother's scanning cut, I know that's where I'm going to cut. So I'm here. And so that's my, my placement stitch. It's also going to cut my fabric. So I'm keep going. Like I said, I, for the Minnie Mouse head, um, it's going to be glitter vinyl. And I'm just going to let that go and pull it off. And so now we are at the Minnie Mouse bow. So we're at the Minnie Mouse bow and we want to make that um, a cut file for this design. You're going to hit the X. It's a cut file. I'm going to hit close. Edit in. Make sure I save it. So now it's saved to my jump drive. So when I take this over to my scan and cut, all I have to do is go to my jump drive and pull it up and cut it. And I'll show you that process. Okay, so I'm over here by my machines. My machines are here and my scan and cut is here. It used to be on the other side of the room, but because I'm just using it for, particularly for just cutting fabric, um, I use it for all kinds of things because you can scan it and it finds the cut lines and it cut for you. Um, I'm going to use my already, um, I've already added heating bond to this fabric. So you can see this little shiny in the back. You need that for stabilization and keep your design crisp. So here is the mat that you're going to use. You use a regular mat and then my high stick, high tech mat is stuck to it. So I'm going to pull this off. So it's essentially a mat on a mat. Alright, so take that off. And so I have my mat. See, it's been used. So what you do is you're going to lay the fabric, fabric, um, the right side of the fabric down. Your shiny part should be up. So you're going to lay it. You're going to make sure it's nice and flat. You don't want to put it on the side with the heating bond because it will take off your heating bond. All right, so I have my mat, my jump drive. I'm going to turn this on. Like I said, I have the older version. But it works just the same. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my jump drive. So, load in my jump drive to the side. This comes down. I really feel like this model, I have the CM650W. This You had to buy this at sewing machine uh, place. Alright, so I'm going to take this, put this right here. Make sure everything is smooth. Line it up. So I have it set. This is what you press to get your mat. And you only can use the mat that comes with the scan and cut. Um, it has little um, little codes on the side of it. And it won't work if you don't use this mat. You're going to click on pattern. Do not click um, on scan because you're not scanning anything. So you're going to go in. Hit save data, USB. Okay, so now it has retrieved the data. So it has three designs. I'm going to choose this one. 
and this is the design it's on my jump drive and remember I went in and saved the applique pieces so I have a I'm gonna hit OK and then hit set so anytime I have my design I do go to the sizer you go to size selection I do hit it twice just to make it a little bit bigger and it will make the make sure the height and width is um, is set correctly so I go hit one one two so just I hit it two times that's all I hit okay okay and then I need to add the bow so I'm gonna hit okay put it right there and Go to the bow, hit the size, one, two, hit OK. And because I have my fabric laying down, I'm going to reverse this. I'm going to put these, I'm going to flip them. So now I have it set, I have my pieces. Okay, so I have to go here and I am going to flip it, have it mirrored. Then I'm going to go here and click the size button and Mirror that again and mirror this also. So I have both of these mirrored. I'm gonna move this back up here. Hit OK. And hit OK again. And then it's gonna be time to cut. And, and I'm gonna hit the start button and it's gonna cut my pieces. <coughs> My cutting time is about one minute. Believe it or not, I got my high tech mat from Best Buy. All right, so it is done. I'm going to take it over to my table and I'm going to just pull it off and my applique is going to be ready. So let's hit the button to retrieve it. So now that I have the mat, what I'm gonna do is just come straight up. You might have a little piece that needs to be cut, but you can see that it comes right up. So just take your time. It's a little strange. So now that I have it, I'm gonna take these and I'll pull these off. It's come right off. Make sure you put it on the wrong socks. If you put it on the other way, it won't work. Let's pull this one off. Comes right on. So now I'm going to do the placement stitch. You can take it, you can lay it here if you want to put some spray or put some heat on this, you can and see it fits it perfectly. If you want extra security, you can take it off. I'm going to use my Cricut pad, put it underneath here. Now I'm just on there. Alright, right, so now I'm just gonna let it go. It's gonna do the tech down. And then you do not have to put the stop on this one.
It's going to start and I'm going to let it go. I know you might see some extra fabric here, but it's okay because it's going to be covered. Do the mermaid shirt the standard way. So go ahead and hit lock. Make sure I have my stabilizer. Check under here. Okay, so now that I have my six stitched out, my placement stitch, I'm gonna go ahead and place the fabric. Remember, I'm doing this the traditional way. So, the other one I use my scanning cut, and this one I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way. And I'm gonna lock that, let that roll. So now this is ready to be trimmed. So I do. Ninety percent of my shirts using this method. I'm going to cut the applique using my double curve scissors. So, now I'm going to let this run. So now I need to put the vinyl. Okay, we have the vinyl piece on top this is glitter vinyl this is stalls glitter vinyl you should be able to pull this all went over it twice so I'm just gonna take and pull that glitter vinyl off all right All right, I'm gonna lay that there. And when that's done, I'm gonna pull that off. Let's go ahead and pull this off. Pull this right off. This little vine comes right off. No cutting needed. So another method you can do, you, you don't have to use the iron, you can just get, put a little spray on it, some temporary spray. And I'm just gonna place it right here. So I use some tempo spray. 
Then we're gonna let it go. And then there's no more apple. Okay, I'm done. Pull this off. And no more applique for this. I am done. So I can just let this go. Thank you so much to Cece and Ashley that purchased my merch shirts when they were first dropped. Um, also, I am going to get a couple things from Joanne. I'm trying to get a couple things and come right out. And then I'm picking up my new camera from Best Buy, the Sony ZV-1. Uh, watched a hundred videos on it. It has amazing views and it's great for people that are doing vlogging or um, have their own YouTube channel. And so I'm going to pick that up. I'm excited about that because I've been recording mostly from my phone. So if you like to hang out with me today, learn some new tips and tricks along the way. Keep watching. Okay, so I just pulled up at one of my favorite stores. You know, my number one is Hot Lobby. Can't resist. I will have to go today. And I'm heading to Joanne. I'm over here in this area. my favorite place probably ever to shop and get crafts and decor and guessed it it's Hobby Lobby Thank you so much for watching Crafty Scholars. I hope you learned something today about um, cutting applique using your cutting machine. Today I used the older version of the Brother Scan and Cut, but it works the same exact way. There's also different methods to cut um, out fabric as well. Let me know down in the comments if you prefer the traditional method, taking off the machine and cutting the extra fabric or having an applique uh, piece already ready to go. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell somebody about the Soul Crafty Teacher. Thank you so much for tuning in. Ciao, Crafty Scholars. Mm -hmm.